hi guys how are you all doing i hope you all are well so i just want to rant or just want to talk and i wish you guys to understand where i'm going from where i'm coming from so guys um honestly i want to talk about um travel vloggers especially african travel vloggers so i don't know if you're noticing the trend of african travel vloggers going for the, the same places and posting almost the same kind of content like one and um, one african travel vlogger go to one place the video perform well and the next thing you see is many african travel vloggers going to the place and making the same kind almost the same, the same kind of videos and um posting the same kind of videos honestly it seems somehow to me the reason why i started travel vlogging was because i saw like um, two Kenyan women that inspired me, Diwango and, and African Tigress. I love them, though I'm not the kind of person that always come on social media. I'll be like, I love this, but I know I'm not that kind of person, but they inspire me a lot. When I see them, I feel like if these people can do this, I can do this. I want to do this for myself. I want to travel around. Since I'm the kind of person that loves seeing beautiful places, I want to go and see beautiful places in other countries. However, I feel like... Um, that thing that inspired me in travel vlogging is not what i'm seeing right now like it's not, it's not because of african voice um, and african tigress and d1 go like it's general thing in and africa especially in african travel vlogging african travel vloggers before i start travel vlogging or when i just make up my mind that i will go into travel vlogging there are some countries i put like like this is the first countries i will go the two countries are kenya and ghana like i wanted to go to that those places number one i want to go to ghana because i love ghana i love ghana i love everything i used to see on social media about ghana and about kenya i i, I wanted to go to kenya because of african african travel african tigress and diwango because they inspired me i'm like okay if i want to do i just want to go see where these people come from because like i'm a big fan i'm not the kind of person that if i want to go to country i'll shake for country that is performing well or country that people have gone to go if you go check my videos go check your dates i post my video if you go check that time there's no much nigerians going to kenya like nigerian content creators going to kenya i was literally one of the first people that went to kenya of recent after uh after this person, after um, Tayo Aina and Steven Indoku, I was like one of the first people that went to Kenya, one of the first Nigerians, Nigerian content creator that went to Kenya that, that 2023 before it blew up and everybody started going to Kenya. All Nigerians started going to Kenya. You see, I, when I was in Kenya, even uh, when I was in Kenya, people like a lot of Nigerians started going to Kenya. And you see them duplicating exactly my kind of videos and um i'm not talking about this is like because of me i'm just is a general thing on social media then you see people going to kenya everybody goes and if you go check the, the the time i went to kenya check the kind of videos i make check my popular videos you see that a lot of people who went to kenya after me try to duplicate all those kind of all those videos that I have made all those videos i have made they try to duplicate it mind you personally i have my own kind i'm a woman if you go check there are no much women that post the kind of video i post but i post that because it's something that interests me like i love seeing beautiful houses i love seeing beautiful sceneries i love seeing beautiful places that is something that inspired me and uh, but we see people who are not posting that kind of content literally going to the particular place i went to to duplicate that kind of videos i have made and it's not just like within all smaller youtubers is everywhere i have seen it in bigger youtubers top Niger top african travel vloggers somebody who go to jamaica make videos and her, her video is performing well or his video is performing well you see a lot of people other people will go to that same place that that person is and creating exactly the kind of content that that person is creating i don't know if anybody understands what i'm saying but it just feels somehow that um travel vlog again don't have the creativity it used to have before it's not all about going to places discovering new places again it's just going to places making views and making money 
or going to places that other people have gone making views and making money this is the reason why i have not traveled honestly the sole reason why i have not traveled like if i want to tell you the truth is not because of anything is because i have lost uh motivation <laughs> for content because a lot of people are posting the same thing like people are post literally posting the same thing you're posting just like you go you go you look at something that is performing well in one and um, one travel vlogging channel then you go on your own duplicate that kind of thing and post it like go pay your money go <laughs> pay for flight tickets go to a country duplicate that kind of thing and post it it, it makes a lot of videos from a lot of african uh, travel vloggers look so very similar i don't know if you're, uh, you're understanding me but if you go check some of african top uh, travel vloggers it's almost like they are posting the same thing like this person go to this place tell the same story you see another person go to that place like almost the same time frame go tell the same story there's no creativity anymore and i feel like the person that is that is that will be that is taking a lot of blow is d wango <laughs> ah i know that people will cast me like d wango is taking a lot of blows like people are copying that girl's content like <laughs> too much to the point that sometimes i'd be like does not make sense honestly one thing i love about d wango is because she she she, she she's different She's making it in a different way. Like she's making uh, travel content in a different way. She's not like looking at people to see the country you have traveled. Let me go and travel. She's the kind of person that sit down and look at countries like not much people are going and be like, okay, I want to go there. If you shake, Diwango was the first African female African travel vlogger that went to Philippines and that blew her up. She also was the first person that went to, oh, like, let me not talk too much, but you understand what I'm saying, right? I feel like people are like just going, like looking at some travel content. Once it's performing where they are going there to perform. If the time my YouTube, my video for, from Kenya did, a, did very, very well. During that time frame, a lot of people came to Kenya, even people that have come to Kenya before still go back to Kenya. Like, even non-nigerians like you see a lot of videos from kenya at that particular time i'm not saying everybody emulates me or they look at my videos but if you go check some of the contents from people who travel to kenya within that or after i travel to kenya you see that a lot of them many of them pick all my videos my best performing videos and went to duplicate it <laughs> it's funny and it's not funny it's funny and it's not funny it's take creativity away and it also make you be very scared of putting out your creative your creativity on social media because you don't know whether if you put it out someone is going to take it from you and do it and it's like it was their own will say better than your own why the idea was yours the day time i now made a post about uk and us tour immediately time i now made that post that was when some people some african travel vloggers know that they will leave africa to go to those uh, um european countries and honestly i don't know but it's not it's not sitting well with me because these are the people i look up to these are the people that give me inspiration to make travel content maybe it has been happening but i feel like it is thing of the recent that people are just looking at your people best performing video or where those top people want to go i want to go and create content from there first since they want since i want to go there let me go first and create content before Tayo go go or since i have gone there let me go and create like and again a uh, travel vlogging in africa now have become a competition instead of <laughs> creating content and creating awareness i don't know if anybody will resonate with me but in africa right now it has moved from showcasing africa promoting africa or creating content for africa to just being a competition like how many countries have you traveled to like i feel like <laughs> i don't know but i feel like african travel content is losing quality like it is losing the kind of quality it has before and um a lot of a lot of people like us new people are jumping into it even when <laughs> we don't know everything about it however i also feel like those people who are like 
used to be on the in the game that we are looking up to are also compromising and also um making their content like making their content a duplicate of other people's content making it look and uh, not having the kind of quality it used to have before there are very few uh, travel vloggers, African travel vloggers, or even travel vloggers that still have authenticity in their videos, that travel to go see or travel out of curiosity, not just out of competition or just traveling in order to just put, I have traveled to this, I have traveled to this place. There are people that are still going, like, like very few people that their content have papers instead of duplicating or trying to make it a competition. So, this is the reason why I don't know. My heart is hating. I feel like this this will be a very controversial topic. My heart is giving me sign, but I hope you guys will understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying it in a bad way. So honestly, the reason why I have not traveled is to like I'm just um, thinking or searching for a country that if I go, it will be unique and it will be something that you guys have not seen before because traveling take a lot of money and and going to places because some people have gone to or uh, is performing well just like no no kind of thing i want to do i don't want to be like somebody uh uh fo like follow follow i don't want to be i don't i'm not like that if you go to all my content or see the way i make my content you see that my own kind of content is always very different so this is the reason why i want to just sit down and breathe but guys i want to know what you think about this honestly I want to know your opinion and um what you feel about this <laughs> i feel like i will get cancelled uh, because of this but i want to put this out there and this is not directed to anybody this is just my personal opinion things i discover and things that is discouraging me in making uh, travel content because honestly i feel like there's a lot there's a lot of similarity in every videos i'm seeing on on african travel vlog uh, channels like <sighs> Make a shut up before I get cancelled. <laughs> hey, my mouth was gonna kill me for life.